In this video, I will be going over the pros and cons of living in Carmel-by-the-Sea, California. What's up everyone, Toby Fernie, aka The Teacher Realtor here in Monterey, California. Carmel-by-the-Sea is one of the most beautiful settings along the central coast of California. In this video, I will be breaking down some of the best parts of living in Carmel, but also sharing some of the drawbacks and why this may not be the place for everyone. In the description below, I've linked several other videos from my channel where you can see more information and footage about living in Carmel by the Sea. After watching this video, if you decide that Carmel or somewhere nearby is a place that you'd like to live, feel free to give me a call, send me a text or an email and let me know how I can help with your real estate goals. Chances are if you visited Carmel by the Sea before or even looked at pictures, you're aware that this is one of the most beautiful settings in all of California. The views along Scenic Drive are pretty epic, and waking up to that view first thing in the morning would be a great way to start your day. Along with the scenery and natural beauty of Carmel, the architecture and shops in the downtown area are also aesthetically pleasing. It almost looks as if you're in a quaint European village when walking along Ocean Avenue. Famous architects such as Frank Lloyd Wright have built architectural masterpieces throughout Carmel. So whether you're at Carmel Beach, going for a bike ride along Scenic Road, shopping on Ocean Avenue, or just going on a stroll throughout the neighborhoods, you'll be surrounded by beauty in Carmel by the Sea. Monterey County and Carmel in particular are tourist destinations. Along with that comes a variety of different cuisines where you can find almost any type of food that you're looking for. Many well-known chefs from the Bay Area and around the world come to make Carmel by the Sea their home. For such a compact, small space, there are double-digit Michelin star restaurants in Carmel. If you live in Carmel or are visiting, you'll likely be able to walk to many of these restaurants or take a short Uber ride to enjoy delicious restaurants. The Taste of Carmel is a really fun event that happens every year here in October that highlights some of the best restaurants and chefs that the area has to offer. I've actually linked a video below in the description of my five favorite restaurants in Carmel by the Sea and Pebble Beach. So if you're looking for a restaurant recommendation, check that video out as well. If you're a dog owner or love dogs, then you're going to love Carmel by the Sea. Travel websites and blogs often rate Carmel the friendliest dog city in all of California, and it's not a surprise to see why. For starters, dogs are able to roam without a leash on Carmel Beach. Locals and tourists alike flock to Carmel Beach and you can see dogs running free and living it up, playing along the sand and waters of the Pacific Ocean. Many of the restaurants and hotels in Carmel by the Sea allow for you to bring your dog and you don't even need a letter from your doctor to do so. If you're bringing your dog to town for a visit, a quick Google search and you'll be able to find a list of dog-friendly restaurants and establishments to bring your canine companion along with you. Carmel by the Sea is one of the best locations in Monterey County due to its proximity to every type of activity the area has to offer. You are a short drive away from places like Point Lobos State Park and the scenic coastline of Big Sur. There are plenty of locations for wine tasting in downtown Carmel or Carmel Valley. While there aren't any major supermarkets in Carmel by the Sea, you can find that a short drive away at the Crossroads Shopping Center in Carmel. You're also a short drive away from places like downtown Monterey, the Monterey Fairgrounds, where you can go to the Jazz Festival or Cali Roots Reggae Festival, the Laguna Seca Raceway, and Monterey Regional Airport, which is the most convenient airport I've ever flown in or out of. For golf enthusiasts, you're a stone's throw away from the world famous golf courses in Pebble Beach. The Monterey Bay Aquarium and Asilomar State Beach in Pacific Grove are at your fingertips too. Not to mention you're a short drive away from places like Santa Cruz, San Jose, or San Francisco. Carmel schools are some of the top rated public schools in the entire state of California. As a former teacher myself, with plenty of friends and former colleagues who work in Carmel Public Schools, 
I know that Carmel has a strong curriculum with qualified staff and a low staff turnover rate in comparison to many other schools. The schools tend to be on the smaller side in comparison to many of the other middle and high schools in Monterey County. Not only will this be important if you have kids who are planning to attend schools in the area, it can be interesting to look at real estate prices in Pebble Beach, as parts of Pebble Beach has schools that go to Carmel Public Schools, whereas others will attend Pacific Grove or Monterey schools. If the exact same house in Pebble Beach was in the Carmel District part of Pebble Beach, this house would be worth more money and more expensive than if it were in the Pacific Grove or Monterey school districts, even though both of those are strong school districts as well. Okay, so let's get into some of the cons of living in Carmel by the sea. I don't know why, but when I make these types of videos, for some reason people seem to enjoy hearing about the cons more than the pros. So let's get into some of those reasons why this may not be the ideal place for you to live. Monterey County is one of the most expensive counties in the most expensive state in the country. Carmel, along with Pebble Beach and Big Sur, will have by far the most expensive real estate in Monterey County. Outside of places like Bel Air in the Los Angeles area, real estate prices in Carmel will be up there for some of the most expensive homes in the state. As an example, Brad Pitt just purchased a $40 million home in Carmel, and there is a $40 million home listed right now on Scenic Road. While those prices may be outliers, you'll be hard pressed to find a home in Carmel by the sea for less than $2 million that doesn't require work. And of the 49 single family homes listed in Carmel, the median list price right now is $3,750,000. There aren't many condominium complexes and if you're planning to rent, it can be expensive to rent as well with one to two bedroom places probably being at least $3,000 a month when it comes to a rental. Along with the epic landscape and setting come with prices that match. Along with the millions of people who come to visit the area every year, the homes that are in Carmel by the Sea are closely packed together. When purchasing a five to $40 million home, you might think that comes along with acreage and privacy. That's not always the case in Carmel. If you're looking to purchase a home in Monterey County and you can afford those type of prices and you're looking for more privacy, you may want to look in places like Big Sur or Pebble Beach. Carmel Beach has free parking that isn't metered and there isn't a time limit outside of not being able to park there overnight. Some of the streets surrounding Carmel Beach and Ocean Avenue also are free of parking signs. Between that and the number of work trucks that come in and out of the area for real estate upkeep, the streets can get busy and packed. There aren't many sidewalks in Carmel outside of Ocean Avenue, so many people walking the neighborhood or visiting will walk down the middle of the road, which can make maneuvering in Carmel by the Sea quite difficult. When you think of a California beach town, maybe you're thinking of people laying out on the beach in bathing suits. Carmel Beach and Carmel by the Sea in general are on the cooler side. Overall, the weather in Monterey County can be rather temperate for California temperatures. Rarely are there days where the temperature goes above 75 degrees or below 50 degrees. Towns like Seaside, Delray Oaks, downtown Monterey, and Carmel Valley are in what is known as the Sunshine Belt. These places tend to get more days of sunshine, whereas places like Marina, Pacific Grove, Carmel by the Sea, and Pebble Beach get far more days of fog. With this fog comes a cooler temperature. It's interesting that July and August are two of the colder and foggier months in Carmel by the Sea. So many tourists who come to town, show up wearing shorts and a t-shirt, end up heading to the nearest shop on Ocean Avenue to buy a sweatshirt. I know that I said earlier that one of the pros of Carmel by the Sea is the fine dining experience you can get by eating at the restaurants here. There are some really good restaurants in downtown Carmel and there are also some restaurants that are not so good. Even when you go to those subpar restaurants, you're going to be paying a pretty penny for the experience of eating in downtown Carmel. I'd say for most restaurants, if you're planning to get an appetizer, main course, and a drink, 
you're looking at probably between $150 to $200 for a dinner for two. I know that with food prices and inflation these days, those prices may not seem high depending on where you live and the restaurants that you like to go to, but plenty of the restaurants that I've been to in downtown Carmel are a one and done. That even includes some of the highly rated restaurants on Yelp and TripAdvisor. So my recommendation would be to check in with somebody who lives in the area if you're only coming to town for a short period of time and don't have the ability to find some of the better restaurants over time. I couldn't really think of a fifth con of living in Carmel by the sea. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there are so many positives of living in the area. If you can get over the cost of living and purchasing a home in Carmel by the sea, it truly is one of the most beautiful and best places to live in Monterey County or the state of California, in my opinion. If you have any questions about living in Carmel by the sea, if you're a seller wondering the value of your home in today's market, or if you're a buyer looking for your dream home in the area, be sure to give me a call, send me a text or an email at toby.fernie at gmail.com. Like and subscribe, stay tuned for future content all about real estate and living here in Monterey, California. Click the icon to subscribe to more content from living in Monterey, California.